Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to do a comparison between these two Bissell Crosswave hardwood floor cleaners. I've got the Hydro Steam, and here I've got the Pet Pro. I've got some really nasty stains here, some ketchup, some Hershey syrup, uh, some spilt cereal. We're going to see how it does. Now, the Hydro Steam, I do have to let it build up some steams. It takes about 30 seconds for it to steam to activate. This one here, I'm going to be able to just start cleaning. So I'm going to turn them over. They both have a trigger that I have to pull for solution to come out. Okay, I got this. I got the trigger pulled. All right, they both did a good job. I've got the hydro steam in steam mode. A little hard to see the steam coming out, but I do see it occasionally. I'm still holding the trigger on both of them. Okay, so they both did a really good job. Um, this one, the hydro steam might be a little bit drier, but this Bissell Cross Wave Pet Pro also did a good job. They're dirty water tanks. Let's take a look. Yeah, we're going to go empty those out. Same with over here on the hydro steam. We're going to go empty that out. So they're both very simple to empty out. You're just going to take this over here, empty this out. I can rinse this out and get that all nice and clean. Same with this one. Empty this out. Yeah, I did a good job. Now let's do the self-cleaning cycle. Okay, so the self-cleaning cycle is a little bit different on both of them. This one, I simply just make sure the dirty water tank is doesn't has room in it, so I empty it out. Got some fresh water in there with solution. It's got a clean button, so I'm gonna be pressing that. With the Crosswave Pet Pro, I gotta fill this up with water, but I also have to be able to lean the machine back. I can't just set it in here and press the clean or press the power button. It'll just suck the water up and the roller won't spin. So I have to lean it backwards. So you just pour the water right here. It just goes down into the little trough there. Okay, so on the hydro steam, I'm gonna press the self-cleaning cycle button. On this one, I gotta set it here, lean it back, and turn it on, put it on hardwood floor. I can press the trigger if I'd like. Turn it up, turn it off. So up here, I've got a switch here that I can turn it on. I, could, I can do a hardwood floor or area rug, and it's got a, a trigger here that I pulled. Only solution will only come out when I'm pulling the trigger. Over here, I got that same trigger. Solution will come out and steam when I pull the trigger. I got a power button and a mode button. I've got three different modes of operation that you're gonna see right here. There's gonna be steam, there's gonna be area rug, and then there's also gonna be hardwood floor. Now round back, they both have their clean water tanks. This is where you're gonna put the solution and the water. So the Hydro Steam, 120 volts, 60 hertz, 10.8 amps. The Crosswave Pet is 120 volts, 60 hertz, 4.4 amps. Okay, so here's the solution tanks. They almost look identical. You can do a small area, fill it up with water, then from there to their formula, and same up here, water, then from there to their formula. You can use the Crosswave as long as it says Crosswave on the formula bottles, that's what you can use on these, on both of these. Now the Hydro Steam, anytime it's plugged in, those lights are on. Over here, let's open this up. We are supposed to let this dry. Let's take a look at the roller brush. Yeah, you know, this self-cleaning cycle did a pretty good job, but I can take this all apart and clean it really well. Hydro Steam. Yeah, a bigger roller. But I can clean that up area a little bit too, and they got this clean. So if you don't mind how the self-cleaning is a little bit different on this purple one, the Crosswave Pet Pro, it's a very nice one. I also feel like you can get more bigger items into it. This one really struggled with the cereal chunks were kind of big. It would just push them forward. You know, the steam, it does make steam. You got to get down there really close to see it. I just felt like this dirty water tank on this one was filling up a little bit faster than on this one, but they look to be about the same. Yeah, the, I mean, they might be the same quantity, but the max line's way down here and the full line's really up there. So both of these hover around the $300 price range. You know, this one is on sale for $300, retails for $350. This one's a little bit cheaper. This one's uh, on sale right now for $267. It does retail for about $330, but, you know, I really do. This one's been around a while. I've seen this one quite a bit. This is new. 
I really had higher hopes for this uh, Crosswave uh, Hydro Steam. I just don't think it does as good a job as what like this one does. I mean, I do like the self-cleaning that you just set it down, press the button, and it does everything. This one, I do have to do a little bit of work by holding it backwards and that, but that's not too big a deal. I did buy both of these with my own money. I'll put links to them in the show description notes. Underneath the video, if you could give it a thumbs up, that really does help out my YouTube channel. Also, check out my Just a Dad Videos Group Facebook page. I'll be doing my free giveaways on this. They'll be behind the scenes of how videos are made. I'm also releasing my brand new coffee. I'm, I branded my own coffee. We went down and did some taste testing. We're working on bag design right now. It's going to be a dark roast, Just a Dad Simple Sip Coffee. You can follow along on the coffee journey on my uh, Just a Dad Videos group page. I really do appreciate everybody's support. This would not be possible without everybody, so thank you very much. And again, if you could, please like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.